What's the difference between the four-way ceiling cassette and the wall mount air handler? You're watching Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and today we're talking about the four-way versus the wall mount, the difference in the installation, the difference in the maintenance, what you need to know if you're thinking about installing these two types of equipment in your home. Before we get started, hit that like button, please hit the bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing, and definitely leave a comment below, let me know who you are and where you're from. If you have a question at the end of the video, definitely drop that below, I answer all questions, and I really appreciate all my viewers, my subscribers, and my members. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the installation characteristics. So the difference between the four-way is you have four corners and you can see there's a bolt, a washer connected to all thread and they go through the four brackets on each side. And then you have unistrut up there and you have another washer and another bolt. So you can see that this is how it's installed. You have to frame it out. It doesn't matter if it's wood, if it's sheetrock, if it's drop ceiling this type of equipment will work for either one. And you've got a fascia panel, and that fascia panel has four corners, and there's four screws to attach the fascia panel to the actual cassette's chassis or body. Now, this right here sits flush with the ceiling, okay? So when you install this, you put it flush with the ceiling, and then you draw this fascia panel up to the cassette, okay? Now the difference between this type of unit being installed in the wall mount is you have the unistrut, you have a bracket, and this wall mount air handler just has this metal bracket. And you can see this is kind of leaned out and this is actually like a hook and the unit sets on this hook and then you've got these two little um, bottom pieces and this is what kind of holds the unit to the wall and to this bracket. So you just screw this to the wall, you set your wall mount air handler down on this bracket, and it's a much easier install, right? So what's the differences in the wall mount and the cassette? The installation's a little bit different, but you actually have a built-in condensate pump, and that's what I really like about this cassette, is the fact that my drain connection right there is going up, over and then it's got an air vent see that air vent that air vent is so that the water will smoothly exit the drain pipe right so it's got a built-in condensate pump with a 29 inch lift that gives you more flexibility for the drain installation one thing you need to think about when you're installing this type of equipment is the airflow and then also where that cassette is located so if you don't have proper ventilation it's in an attic you may have to insulate the body Anything over 80% humidity, that body's gonna start sweating. You need to think about that. So make sure you got plenty of ventilation. If it's in a drop ceiling, I've never had an issue above a drop ceiling. And this is 24 by 24. So if you are gonna install a mini four-way cassette made by Samsung, it will fit perfectly in the drop ceiling. The larger cassettes, like the two-ton, three-ton, four-ton, 360s, and four-ways, you actually have 33 by 33 inches. So that's larger but I still, I've put those in drop ceilings. When you order a fascia panel for a 360, it can be round or square. Now let's talk about air. So as you can see, there's four veins, right? And it blows around four sides, which is really nice. And it sucks in the middle because it returns in the middle and your filters in the middle. What you should never do is never install this equipment in a hallway. I've seen these installed in small rooms and hallways and you, you cause a bounce back effect. You don't want the air to leave, hit an obstruction two foot away, and then go back in the return. What does that cause? It causes short cycling. It causes the equipment to basically turn off. You don't want that. You want it to run. You want that comfort. Now, what you can do, and I'm not telling you can do this because I don't know the manufacturer of the equipment you're choosing, but I can actually disconnect two of these veins if I was to install this in a in a place to where I can only blow out of this side and this side, I can actually disconnect that vein there, close it, and have it to where it blows around uh, out of two sides. That's something you need to think about. Now, let's talk about the, uh, well, let's actually show you the inside of this real quick. And uh, you see this four corners, this screws up into that cassette to get the filter 
you just pull, pull, this drops down. This is our filter here, it comes out. These mini splits have permanent washable filters, which is really nice. There's a couple hooks that hold it. There's the indoor fan motor. I'm gonna leave that down. One thing I wanna talk about before we go to the wall mount air handler is, with this cassette, usually some manufacturers send a wireless controller. With this, I actually have to have an adapter. It's a wireless like adapter Wi-Fi kit and I can control it with my phone or I can control it with a wireless controller if I want. Right now, I've got it hooked to a wired controller. See that? So wired controller, I can put this in a different location. I can set it to where this reads the temperature and it turns the unit on and off or I can set it to where the sensor in here is the sensor that controls the equipment and that sensor is located right here, see? Room air sensor. Same thing with the wall mount air handler though. All right, so these wall mount air handlers have a gravity drain and you can see that drain goes out. It doesn't go up and then out. And you can actually get an accessory, which is a condensate pump. And you can install that in behind the equipment, which I'm gonna show you the back of the equipment here because you need to see that. All right, so this right here is the back of the equipment. The line sets come out there and I can put a condensate pump in there if I want. But let me talk to you about a condensate pump. Then we're gonna talk about more maintenance, but condensate pumps, you can get an accessory. I uh, think mini orange Aspen pumps. If you wanna learn more, check out my playlist. I've got a video on HVAC tips for technicians I did on how to install one of these pumps. But I've had some customer complaints about these pumps that they're loud. You know, you don't wanna hear, if you're, this is in your sunroom and you got a small room, this unit's in, you're gonna hear a nah every now and then. You probably don't wanna hear that. Also, that's extra maintenance. So, because you have a little filter in the reservoir that leads to the pump, you have to take that reservoir apart. There's a filter in there you have to clean. If you don't clean it, what happens? Water pours down the wall. Now, the condensate pump for this four-way ceiling cassette will actually shut the equipment down if there's something wrong with the pump. It's got a float switch built in, and that's great. If you do get a condensate pump for the wall mount air handler, same thing, you have a float switch, so if it doesn't work, it won't pour water down the wall. It'll shut the equipment off. Now with the gravity drain, you gotta make sure that you go outside every year and then you take a shot back and you suck out that drain line. Because if you don't, then after a year or two, your pan, your drain could be stopped up and your water will pour down the wall. So that's one maintenance tip that I will definitely give you there. I'll go show you the outdoor unit, show you where the drains come out. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section. I definitely love answering questions. Questions lead to content. This right here is my outdoor unit made by Samsung. I can install this on a wall mount bracket so it's up off the ground, or I can get a pad. The pad is three inches tall, 36 inches long, and it's about 18 inches in width. It's 220 volt. Never buy a mini split that's not 220 volt. The reason I tell you that is because if you get 110 volt, you're gonna have double the power consumption. You don't want a mini split that's super efficient and that's 110 volt. You want 220, okay? Now there's where the drain comes out for that cassette. And then here is the drain that comes out for the wall mount air handler. So you just take a shot back, you put it right here, you suck it out, boom, you're good to go. Most mini splits come with 10 year on the parts. I definitely would go with a dealer if you're gonna buy a mini split, and I'll tell you why. I've had customers that have bought, bought mini splits offline, and then three or four years later down the road, they call us to come out, and there's nobody to call, and there's no support, and there's no warranty, and that is not good, especially when we live in a time right now where it's hard to get parts, and the parts that you do get sometimes are wrong, so you're having to wait. Do not buy a mini split offline unless you are a professional. You know how to install it and you can do it and not have to worry about if it breaks, then I'll just get a new one. So if you if you if you if you're like that, then do it. So who cares? But having somebody professional install it and them be liable for it, I think that is the best option for you. I like the fact that when I install these Samsung mini splits, I have 10 years on the parts. So for 10 years, the customer doesn't have to worry about anything. I come out there, if we have a bad compressor, we replace it. And if they have labor warranty, they don't have to pay for that either. So it's fantastic. 
So with wall mount air handlers, you need to make sure that you have enough room above the unit to get enough air into the return. Remember, if you don't have enough air in the return, you won't have enough in the supply. Also, I have charts online that I can look up how, how far the air flows. So I know that when I install a unit in a room, it's going to be able to hit the other side of the room. That's really important to me as well. So if you can figure that out, that would give you a, a better information for you to know whether to install which of these units. I've covered quite a bit so far. I love the four-way ceiling cassettes. I love the wall mounts. I love both of them. I install a lot more wall mount air handlers than I do the four-way ceiling cassettes. And I actually have a UV light on this unit. You can see it just the very top of it. You want to know more about that, where I got that, you need to check out my playlist. I've got a video on that, but I wanted to show you the condensate pump that I was talking about earlier. Definitely check out that video I was talking about, link in the description, but this is what a condensate pump looks like for a wall mount air handler. And also sizing. Take a moment, stop the video, and look at this. This is great information for sizing. If you need this, I can send this to you. Let me know. This right here is a rough end box. I use this when I want to rough end line sets and I'm going to install wall mount air handlers. I've got a video on this for you to learn more and I've got a link in the description if you want to buy this rough end box. Great thing for wall mount air handlers because you don't have to install the line sets on the exterior of the wall. You can run them in the wall and use a rough end box. So go down there in the link, learn more. So I want to show you a couple things that I have here. If you're interested in this guide, join, become a member. I'll send you this so you can learn more. But this is the FJM Free Joint Multi Mini 4-Way made by Samsung. It says right here, without any alterations to the ceiling, Mini 4-Way cassette indoor unit can be installed in a standard ceiling tile. So you see that right there? Fascia panel is the only thing that you see. Also, I wanted to show you there's ducted units. So you can choose from the wall mount, the ducted, or that ceiling cassette. This right here is my double pole, 30 amp, 230 volt breaker that feeds my outdoor equipment. And then from the outdoor equipment, I've got two wires that come to each indoor unit because my outdoor unit powers my indoor units. The outdoor unit has a communication wire that leads to the indoor units, and then it also has a power wire. So you've got L1, L2, and a ground. Make sure you always choose 230 volt because that is gonna save you more. I hope you learned something in today's video. If you did, hit that like button. If you got a question, drop that below. Can't wait to answer that question. If you need tech support, you need help with your project, you just wanna ask me a question, click that join button, become a member. I'm here to help you. Thank you so much. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.